of discussion is pseudo hypoparathyroidism it is a continuation of my previous video on hypoparathyroidism in this case the patient is functionally hypoparathyroid that is reduced calcium levels and increased phosphate levels as in hypoparathyroidism but here actually the problem is in the gnsa gnas1 mutation actually this is a gene which is responsible for g stimulatory alpha protein this gene encodes g stimulatory alpha protein which is responsible for signal transduction pathway in the production of parathyroid hormone due to defect in this g stimulatory alpha protein there is overproduction of parathyroid hormone but there is overproduction of parathyroid hormone but here the problem is is end organ resistance and organ resistance that is parathyroid hormones levels are very high in the blood but these parathyroid hormone levels cannot perform its function well on the kidneys and on the bone as in the similarly like type 2 diabetes mellitus the patients of type 2 diabetes mellitus has insulin resistance here the parathyroid hormone resistance is there the most common type of pseudo hypoparathyroidism is type 1 pseudo hypoparathyroidism in which the patient has short fourth or fifth metacarpal and metatarsal patient is obese mentally retarded and has round face as well as well as has short stature all these features are collectively terms as albright osteodystrophy osteodystrophy albright hereditary osteodystrophy this albright hereditary osteodystrophy is inherited from maternal chromosome now come to pseudo pseudo hypoparathyroidism in this case the patient is clinically clinical presentation is same as that in albright hereditary osteodystrophy but the calcium levels are normal as well as the parathyroid hormones levels are normal and it is inherited from paternal chromosome in the management give the patient calcium and vitamin d supplements remember do not give the patient parathyroid hormone or the synthetic parathyroid hormone because the end organ resistance is there in this case if